All right, let's walk through the smartphone power dialer. So I have um, I have left main here and open in this tab and I have smartphone open in the second tab. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my smart, smart dialer here in smartphone and I'm going to create a new campaign. You can select an existing one if you have you know, kind of like a static list that you always call, like for example, 30 day follow up, you can make that a, that campaign once and then just go ahead and grab it to call it again. But let's kind of start from the beginning. Let's do a new campaign and let's do new leads this week, left main. Okay. Now select the phone numbers that you want to use for this caller, uh, for this call session. You can add more than one um, phone number here. And in fact, that's recommended that you have a group of phone numbers that we can kind of cycle through during this power dialing session. Then you're going to pick the number of line dialer you want. You can go up to four. Now, the more more lines you have, the more spam liability you have. So I recommend staying at two. Phone number depth. This is the number of phone fields that you currently have on your lead. So for example, we traditionally with left main package have two, the mobile field and the phone field. If you have more that you've added custom, then you can go up to seven here. Actually, I think, yeah, up to 10. Yeah. So I'll select two. You're going to want to make sure you already have your voicemail and your callback recording pre-recorded. Um, Remember, you can get those in your media manager. So before you start your call session, make sure that you have those available so that you can just select them here. So there is your voicemail drop. There is your callback drop. And then you're going to select the hold music for the you know the number of lines if some if somebody else picks up if two people pick up at the same time it'll play it so you know look at look at those pick which one you like i'll pick the guitar okay now we're going to configure the campaign and we're going to choose salesforce you know excel is another option right now we're just going to go over salesforce so we're going to pick that and then we're going to select which object we're in the leads today so we're going to grab leads but contact is also available here if you want to power dial through you know, a buyer's list or, or something like that, or like call agents, et cetera, that is also available, but we're going to do leads. So we'll click leads, and then we're going to select which list view we want to call. So let's call new leads this week. But you'll notice that all of your list views that you're used to seeing here, those will all be available here. So let's do uh, new leads this week and finish. <clears throat> okay. Now, this has saved this campaign, which is really cool. So you'll be able to um, sync this campaign moving forward if you want to. You'll notice all of your status filters here. All right. You'll see all of your settings that you did here. You can put some filters on if you want, um, et cetera. You can have your call script that you use. Um, permission sets of who can access this campaign if you're setting this up for VAs you can have it um, you can have some that are private there are some that are just you um, and so you can select maybe certain people who can see this I'm the only one in this account all right and then we'll click save for all my little settings okay and then now we're going to start a new new call session okay so press new call session this is that resync so um, if you remember, we can we can always call the same campaign. It's saved now. So for example, if you're doing this every day or every week, you'll want to resync it so that you get all the fresh um, new leads in this list view right before you start calling. So I just made this, so I don't have to resync it right now. But you know, to resync it, you just click it. It grabbed all of the new um, the new leads, and then now you can now you can move forward. So go ahead and click new call session, and then run the campaign. I'm going to allow my microphone, and here we go. We're going to start our call session. Oop, I guess I paused it by accident. Here we go. So it's calling my mom, and it's calling my husband at the same time. We're just going to have fun for this little, this little demo. Let's see who picks up. Hello. Oh, hello, Mom. This is a test call. I love you. Oh, what? what? Was that you that texted? Yep. Sorry about that. I'm going to hang up now. Uh, okay, you scared me there. Okay, honey. All right, love you, bye. I love you, bye. Okay, great. So you see we did that. <laughs> I should have warned her. Oh, mom picked up. Call back later. And you see how it kind of stopped? And then I got a no busy tone on this one. So this is great. We're going to complete this call. See here, this outbound text. 
it's because I put her in as a new lead in the system and it automatically sent a text with the campaign. So we'll say, um, we'll say call back, I don't know. Okay, and then now it'll proceed. If you wanna change the settings so that it auto resumes, so right now it's off, so I'd have to click to continue. If you want it to continue to call the next people on the list without having to click the button, you can just turn it on. Same thing with the voice detection. These are some kind of some cool features. Um, I personally get a little like scared with auto resume. I rather would click a button, but if you have a VA who's just like, you know, banging through this, you may want them to be on. That's, you know, your personal preference. But to continue, we're just gonna press uh, play and then I'll call the next person on the list. So you notice it just called, this is calling the second number for Zach. He had two on his thing. He picked up. Well, hello. Hey. This is a test call. Are you calling me twice? Yeah, I did. This is a test call. Bye-bye. Bye. crazy? Bye-bye. Right, love you, bye. And then now my personal cell phone is ringing again, and I just ignored it. So test call, complete call. You can see all the communication history from, from left main here. So that's really cool. It pulls all that in so you can kind of see what the last calls were for the outbound calls and the text message um, that came into the system last time. All right. And again, it paused and it's showing me how many, um, you know, the progress of my current list. Um, I'll just make my little thing and then play. And then it's gonna, it's calling the second number. So I'll hang up. I'll... Please leave the message after the beep. Okay, hang up. All right, for this guy, we got a voicemail. Complete call. I'm doing my notes. And this is 100% completed now. So you have finished your calling session. Um, where's my little my little bubble? But now we can close the session because I've made a, it's 100% complete. So I'll close the session. And I'm, of course, I'm kind of moving quickly through here. Um, but um, here's my call session that I just completed for this campaign. So you can see the history of all of your users and when they called this list. And you can see that it took three minutes, which is about, you know, which is about the, uh, the length here. Okay. So now from here, by the way, I didn't, I didn't demonstrate this, but should you were, if you were calling a prospect list in left main and in that call status, if you had clicked converted, it would automatically convert that prospect to a homeowner lead. So it does support the, um, the prospect feature. Um, I should have showed you that in the section, but if you remember those little labels, if you click converted, it'll pop it over. Um, and market is qualified essentially and is a new lead. So you can have your um, you can have your VAs or your team members be calling off of a prospect list, uh, power dialing, and then pushing them over to a brand new lead, the new record type homeowner. Um, so that you know the te the team that's working out of uh, left main will know that there's a brand new opt in. Okay, and then here you go. You can resync. Um, right here if you're ready to call this list again and then you can do a new call session you can see all the call data here and everything will be nice and updated over here on the left main side oops i meant, didn't mean to pause it so okay so if you click into the test record you'll see that the call was logged so here's the outgoing call that happened in the power dialer and you can rat you can read the notes uh, if you click into it <clears throat> there's the information. There's a recording. Pretty fun. All right. Oops, I didn't mean to click on that. But there you go. So you can see your whole task list there. And that is the feature of uh, the power dialer.